Welcome back to another episode of Seagull Style. Here we are then, we're at the business end of the season and we've got a bit of a bumper edition for you today, that's all I'll say. We've got Premier League, we've got Champions League, all sorts going on. I won't give away any spoilers, but let's get on with it. Here we go. Some people are on the fence, they think it's all over. It is now. It's... Shit! Did you see that? He must have a foot like attraction and terror! Let's be having you! Maggie Patsy, can you hear me? Maggie Patsy, you boys took the hell of a beat! Go! 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 It's Torres oh! to get Chelsea a place in the Champions League final! The headline has been written! We kick off against. The red shite. So at the start of this match, City still haven't played their game in hand, which really adds to the tension. So we're nine points clear, although if City win their game, it becomes a six-point gap uh, with five games remaining. Um, we now face Liverpool <laughs> away from home. This is the lineup I've gone with. Uh, I'm having to go as full strength as I can. Which is fine because it's it's the biggest game of the season. But immediately afterwards, we've got Juventus in the Champions League semi-final first leg. <laughs> Although that's on Tuesday, so we've got Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We've got three days to recover. But look at this form. This is <laughs> when you look earlier in the season, you can see we were unbeaten for basically the whole season. We were unbeaten for until we got to here. And then it all went badly, 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 badly wrong. Very patchy. And I think it's about here that they updated the match engine. <laughs> so it's intense times. Liverpool favourites for this game. Uh, this is the lineup I've gone for. It's literally my best team. So uh, what will be, will be. Come on, boys. Encourage. Get a good start. Don't you get dispossessed. Oh, it's great. Enter it with a brilliant goal. That's a fantastic start. A brilliant, brilliant goal from Endrick there. Look at that. Makoko feeds him through. It gets very lucky with a <laughs> terrible deflection. But still, a very calm uh, piece of finishing there. Beautifully timed run. It was possibly going wide. <laughs> right, hang on there. Hang on. Gindo gets it away. Go on. Oh, oh. I don't want to go defensive just yet. <laughs> Well in Ramsdale, very good. 10 minutes gone, 20 minutes gone, 30 minutes gone, nothing's happened. Get to half time. Tempted to drop someone back a bit now. Okay, it's a very tight game. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to flick back to this slight change and then eventually we will drop, if we can get to 60 minutes, then I'll drop Makoko into like a defensive midfield role again, role again and just try and see it out. Uh, stressful. 60 minutes will make the change if, if no goals are scored. Right, there we go. It's about seeing it out now. We've got Ben White in uh, defensive midfield as a ball-winning midfielder, flanked by two Segundo Volantes. See it out. Well in, Caicedo. Very good. Ben White gets it forward. Oh, well in. Oh, mm, damn you. <laughs> Back to the 4-2-4. Oh, lovely. Go on. Get it in there. No. Uh... Oh, God. I can only hope that Man City do not win their match. <laughs> a point. Get a point. <sighs> well, that's the end of the game. Uh, that's a 2-1 loss to Liverpool. <laughs> City still haven't played. Let's, let's see what results City get. And Man City win 4-0 against Norwich. <laughs> so that puts them on 68 points with a game in hand. So that means that if they win their next game in hand, that will put them on 71. So we would have a three-point gap at the top, but City have a five-goal swing on us. <laughs> this is a very, very stressful end to the season. <laughs> All right, this is a huge game. It's Brighton against Juventus. Juventus are at home, so uh, we're facing them. Uh, in Turin. Uh, it's a scary time. We're going full strength. We've got to park all our worries about the league for the moment and just get on with the job at hand. 
Come on, boys. Come on, Endrix away. Go on. There's Endrick with the goal. Oh, Makoko, great work down the right-hand side. Cuts it back. Neves into the middle and a calm finish from Endrick. Come on, come on. Game on. Encourage to keep it like this. That's so harsh. That's so harsh. That was a great challenge. Unbelievable. 35 goals this season for Vlajevic. <laughs> Probably all penalties. <laughs> Come on. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh. Get in. Surely that counts. How, how would it not? Get in. What's the complaint? Are they, are they saying that this guy's offside? Nothing wrong with it. Oh. Get another. Go on. <sighs> this is some rush, I tell you. <laughs> Ramsdale. Deep into injury time of the first half. Oh, off the post. He was offside, I think. Right, it's half time. That's a good half. Keep it up. Come on, focus. Let's make some subs, mainly to waste a bit of time. Switch to cautious. Go on. Kone puts it away. It's 3 1. Incher in. It's 3 1. That's huge. There's nine minutes remaining. Let's sit on this now. Let's sit on this. Nice and cautious. We've dropped uh, Olmo into central midfield now. Oh, it's four. Does it count? If it counts, we can possibly say we may be in the final. It counts. <sighs> this is huge. We'll be taking a three goal lead to the Amex if we can hang on. Stay cautious. He's well on side. Look at that. Amuche. Lovely finish. What a ball from Guindo as well. Right. Stay cautious. Just keep, keep cautious. Very, very happy with this. Okay. I don't know quite how we did that, folks, but we did it. That's a 4 1 away win. This is such a roller coaster. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Well, the big news, first of all, is Man City. Drew with Newcastle, putting us all on 34 games played, but giving us a five-point lead, which is significant because City have a better goal difference than us. And if it were to be level on, for instance, 74 points each, City would win. So the fact that there's a two-point buffer there for us, in addition to the three points, I'm saying... The fact that there's a five-point gap is huge. Four games remain, five-point gap. Delighted with this. And some terrible news filtering in. Aaron Ramsdale injured seven to nine days. He's out for with a bruised head. Seven to nine days includes the Juventus game. <laughs> oh, I just need a break. It basically, he'll be ready for Aston Villa, but it'll be, it'll be woozy for that game. But these two games, Leicester and Juventus, Aaron Ramsdale is out. So Robert Sanchez returns to the team for the first time in many, many matches. He's only made three appearances all year, uh, all of which I believe would have been in the Cup. Two in, yeah, two in the Carabao, one in the FA Cup. Uh, you know, we're holding out for a hero here, Robert. Here we go, Leicester City. Come on, boys. Should be winning this game. They're 18th in the league. Nothing doing at the moment. Let's go attacking. Oh, unlucky. Get into him. Well done, Rooney. Very good. He's taken a knock, but he's okay. Shell drop. Oh, come on. Need a win here. Five point gap is nothing very, very quickly. Get in, Caicedo. Determined. Plowed his way through. Look at this. Boom. Thunderous. Love that. Come on, Caicedo. Come on, Brighton. We'll uh, hook Barge at, uh, at half time because he's taken a knock there. Oh, ref. Makoko with a lovely finish. Does it count? Doesn't count. It's a shame because it was a lovely finish. Yeah, he's well off. He's well off. Okay, half time. 1 0. It's not 
four one at Juventus, but it's okay in the words of Whitney Houston. Right, come on. That is a filthy tackle, Soyuncu. Get off. I just feel like I've been on attacking the whole time. Let's just stay positive. Subs. So I've not really got the players on the bench that I would have liked. So to make all my subs, I've actually had to put uh, Jao Neves up front. But hopefully uh, he can do a job. He'll be all right. Love a clean sheet for you, Robert. Oh, and it's a pen, surely. Surely that's a penalty. Right, come on. Danny Olmo. Doesn't usually miss. There it is. That's 2-0. And that's one step closer to the league. One step closer. <sighs> Huge. And some praise. Ah, oh, Jean Neves. I think he's, he's not experienced at leading the line. It's fair enough. But what a finish when he uh, did get the opportunity. Look at that. Beautiful. Stunning ball from Caicedo. Oh, my God. <laughs> my heart is really struggling to keep up with this season. It's intense. Oh, result. Massive, massive result. And City win 4-1 against Southampton, keeping it at five points uh, with three games remaining. I need to do some maths in my head. There's nine points remaining. So if we win our next game, that makes it six. Okay, so we need, we need a, a win and a draw from our three games. All right, I'm taking a risk. Uh, I'm putting Ramsdale in goal, even though... He's, he's injured. He's, he's okay. Right? He's just got a bruised head. That shouldn't impact his ability to keep goal for us, I would hope. Robert Sanchez did pretty well in that last game, but this is the biggest game Brighton have ever had, really. Getting into the Champions League final, potentially. It's about maintaining a three-goal lead. It should be doable. So uh, we're going to start as we mean to go on. Play our usual way. But the minute things look a bit dicey, potentially drop it back a bit. Um, that's what we're going for. Come on. <sighs> okay. Huge, huge, huge game uh, at the Amex. It's mad to think this is genuinely like only up the road from me. Um, and we're seeing history in the making here. <laughs> uh, I'd be happy with a nil-nil. I'd be happy with a two-nil loss. Whatever. I don't care. Just make sure at the end of it, we're not losing by more than three goals. On, get it up there. 34 minutes gone already. Well done, Makoko. That's desire. Gindo, they can't get it out. We've got them penned in their own box. And it's there. It's Makoko. That gives us a four goal advantage in the tie. I think, I don't want to jinx it. I think we're going to the Champions League final. <laughs> and I could not be happier. This is so exciting. Go on. Oh, Juventus can't deal with him. Makoko. Enjoying that role again out on the right. His original role for us before he moved to a, a striker. He's enjoying it now. No more silly shots from miles away. Incisive. Uh, clinical moves. And we've had 11 shots and they've had none. This is, this is amazing. With the, oh, and Malero is three. I tell you what, when we're good, we are very, very good. When we're bad, we're awful. Look at that. <laughs> Sometimes it just runs for you, you know? That was uh, a terrible goal. <laughs> Amazing. Very, very good. Do you know what? Just to uh, save any potential danger to Ramsdale, let's uh, give Robert Sanchez a going goal. Let's have... Uh, I've had a Goulair in for uh, Sheldrop and put Makoko up top. See if we can get a Makoko hat trick. A couple more subs. We'll have uh, Ben White in for Caicedo and uh, Amuche in for Malero. What a team we've assembled. This is so exciting. Hoyland with a goal. I think we're safe, though. Uh, we need to concede another six to lose this. No, another five. No, another six to lose. Get another sub in. Uh, let's go for uh, Manu Kone. Comes in for Richie, and that's all our subs. <laughs> I can't get enough of this. This is such a lovely feeling. After all this work, I think this is season four. Finally getting there. Finally getting this team to maturity. To where they belong, which is at the top of Europe. That's 
very nearly over the line, that one. Magnificent work. We are through to the final. How exciting. Not many people would have predicted a UEFA Champions League final place for Brighton, so how good does this moment feel, asks Diego Galvez of The Athletic. I'm chuffed. I am chuffed. It's lovely. Brighton books Stade de France place. How exciting. What a, uh, what a lovely moment. And we will be playing Paris Saint-Germain in the final at the Stade de France. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, they're not very good, are they? <laughs> I'm not even going to look. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I'm buzzing. Now it's about the league. So depending on Man City's results, I believe we can win the league today. If we uh, beat Aston Villa and City lose, we win the league today. Um, this is the lineup I've gone for against Villa. Uh, it's pretty strong. We've got Nianzu, who's a bit tired. Gindo, who's a bit tired. Makoko, who's a bit tired. But now, this is just a normal season now until the end. And then Champions League final is a week later. So we don't have to be managing things between the Champions League and the league now. We just put out a strong team. So let's do it. Here we go. Come on, boys. So City here the evening kickoff. Uh, so this will really put pressure on them if we can win this game. Uh, if we don't win it, then it gives them a real incentive. So uh, it's, it's must win, really. Um, let's see how we get on. It's uneventful thus far. There it is. Arda Goulet. Turn that screw. Turn that pressure up on City. Can you keep winning? Can you keep winning? That's what we're saying to him. Lovely finish from Arda. Look at that. Coming of age now, Arda Goulet. He's what, 21? No, maybe 20. Can't be very old. Very nice. See it out. Jobs are good in there. Very nice. Don't get complacent. That is a very good message to be sending right now. Uh, encourage. Still encourage. We'll uh, maybe rest those tired folks. So we had um, Gindo comes out for Arana. That's when things tend to go wrong is when Arana comes on. Uh, Amuche comes in for uh, Mukoko and uh, Van Hecker in for Nianzu. Get it out. That's it. Amuche. Lovely. Here we go. Sheldrup. He puts it away. That is a beautiful goal. That is a beautiful goal. So clinical. Olmo picks him out. What a ball that is. And Sheldrup does not mess around. Excellent. I tell you what, we've done all of this this season without like a runaway top goal scorer. You know, it's always been a York A or for City, it's Erling Haaland. For us, it's just goals from everywhere. Oof. And that's a good sign, I think. You know, we're not over-reliant on one person, apart from maybe Gindo at left back. I think we can be pretty happy here. All eyes on Man City now in the evening kickoff. Very good. Final whistle. Don't get complacent. So we can see here we're eight points clear. With only two games remaining. That's six points available. However, Man City still play tonight. So they have to win. If they do win, then it goes down to the next game. But it's feeling good this year now. Finally feeling good after a very up and down month or two. Malero's out injured. Let's see. How did City get on? They won. Oh, damn you, Erling Haaland. <sighs> okay. All we need is, well, we have, we need one win out of our last two games because City still have a better goal difference than us. Uh, so if we le lose our next two games and City win their next two, then obviously they have a point extra. But if we draw one game and then lose a game, that'll put us on 81. City win their next two games, that'll put them on 81, but they would have superior goal difference. So we have to win once in two games. That's all it is. That's all we ask. So the next game, the penultimate game of the season, is against Man United. And I don't know about you, but if I was a Man United fan and I knew that my team were playing Brighton in the penultimate game of the season, and if they beat Brighton, it would give Man City a chance of winning the league. I would inwardly be hoping that we lose. 
because I would not want Man City to win the league. Uh, and who hates Brighton other than Crystal Palace? Nobody. So I would hope that the fans at the, uh, the Theatre of Dreams <laughs> are making a case to the manager, to the side, to maybe give us a bit of an easier run and know that if they just, you know, rolled over a bit or maybe didn't try quite as hard or maybe fielded their youth team, if they did that against us, then uh, Man City would have no chance of winning the league uh, and it would be the best thing they could do this season. So I'm just saying, you know, it would be nice. Nevertheless, we've got to approach this in a professional manner. So we're going as full strength as we possibly can. Uh, nice to see Sotalo and Silva having built a relationship again, sort of. A uh, fairly decent partnership now. Uh, Gindo, class left back. What a signing he's been. Uh, look at that. An average of seven in the league. Average of 7.44 in the Champions League. He's been excellent. Uh, Aaron's at right back. Caicedo and Neves, the preferred partnership in central midfield. Sheldra Pumbaji, the mirror images of each other uh, on the left and right. Makoko and Endrick, formidable strike force. This is as good as we can do. Here we go. Come on, boys. So you can see uh, just above my head that Man City have just gone 1-0 up. <laughs> uh, so let's bear that in mind. Come on, let us have the ball. This is not what we agreed. <laughs> oh, my God, no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Please, stop. <laughs> Please, we're, we're going to switch to uh, to positive here. Yeah, so you can see here, uh, just above my head, Man City against Leeds. Here, Man City and Leeds is 1-0. We've also got the league table directly above it, so you can see what it does in real time. Uh, I'm concerned that the positive, we don't want to go mad here. Right, come on, demand more. Come on, Leeds. Any result that is not a win for Man City, and they're done. So Leeds can save us from this. It's 2 0. Damn it. We need a win. Ramsdale. Oh, have you missed that, Makoko? Come on. Let's give the fans a title party at full time, shall we? Pump those fists. Come on. Come on. Demand more. This is as good a side as we can put out. More. City are winning 4 0. 5-0. Oh, my God. <laughs> City winning 5-0. Come on. Got to go for broke here, haven't we? This is a terrible mistake. Come on. Taking a risk. Very attacking. Fire him up. Come on. Oh, have you missed that? Okay, it's 3-0. It's no, 2-0. Okay, it's 2-0. It's done. It's all right. Just go stand to the last game. That's all right, isn't it? That's a lovely goal. <laughs> it's offside. Oh, it was a beautiful goal. All right. Well, I just hope, uh, hope Man United are pleased that they've uh, achieved nothing this season and yet have uh, managed. Look, it meant absolutely nothing, that game. That game had absolutely no bearing whatsoever on their season. And what they've done is potentially screw me out of my title. <laughs> we have to win our final game. If we win it, we win the league. But now that City have just demolished Leeds 5-0, we have to win it. And with the season balanced on a knife edge, it's time to wait another week. <laughs> the next episode is going to be a one-off special of the final day of the season. Uh, I'll always love match of the day when it's the final day of the season and all the games are kicking off at once and they kind of intercut all the different games with the goals as they go in. Obviously. I'm not going to do that, but it needs its own special space to breathe, I think, the final day of the season. So that's what I'm doing. Just giving it a bit of space to exist on its own as an episode. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you then for the big one. See you then. Bye bye.